Before we are finishing off this entire section, I want to cover some other data types, because Python does have a lot. What we have seen so far is that Python is really flexible with data types. Sometimes data is even converted automatically, like with integers and floating point numbers. But other than that, we also have functions to change data types. And this is the entire list for the major data types you would most of the time actually need. And these are very forgiving. Python here, again, is super flexible. Now, besides those, we do have a couple of data types you see once in a while, but not very often. Or in other words, data types you don't specifically use. The most common one here is none, or the absence of a value. This could, for example, happen if a certain kind of value got deleted, or if you didn't get value from some kind of input field. But besides that, we also have a sequence, like a range of numbers, bytes, complex numbers, memory view, frozen sets, lots of really specific data types that you sometimes see in very specific circumstances. You usually have to look them up and they are very rare, so I'm not going to cover them. I will, however, cover later on none and sequence. Those you do see reasonably often. But values like bytes, complex numbers, memory view, frozen sets, you would only ever use in highly specific circumstances, and I'm not going to cover them because we don't really need them. Almost the entire time, you are going to be perfectly happy with these data types here, and they are what I am going to focus on. So right, with that, we can come to the next major section.